How soon after someone is exposed to HIV can a test detect whether they have HIV? Regular HIV testing ensures that people with HIV can access treatment earlier, which prevents illness and means we can't pass the virus on to our sexual partners. For all HIV tests, there is a window period between the time that HIV may have been passed on, in sex for example, and the time that it shows up as a positive result. The length of time for a window period depends on the kind of test used, and there will also be variations between individuals. The use of PrEP, for example, may mean it takes longer to develop antibodies, which most HIV tests are designed to detect as a marker of infection. A fourth generation laboratory test is recommended in UK and US guidelines. This uses a blood sample and detects both antibodies to the virus and the presence of the virus itself, which means it is faster at detecting HIV than a test which just detects antibodies. A fourth generation test will pick up most cases of HIV infection within three weeks and 99% of infections would be detected if the test was taken 44 days after possible exposure. The window period for most rapid tests, using blood from a finger prick and giving a result within minutes, is usually a bit longer. Most of these tests only pick up on antibodies to the virus, which take time to develop. 99% of infections would be detected after 50 days, just over seven weeks. If you think you have been exposed to HIV in the last two to three weeks, the fourth generation test will give you an accurate result earlier. If your last possible exposure was more than a month ago, it doesn't make so much difference. Knowing your HIV status is crucial. If you are concerned about a possible exposure to HIV, any approved HIV test should give you an accurate result within a couple of months, and in most cases, within weeks. The earlier you are diagnosed, the easier it will be to treat you and prevent you from becoming ill.